Hi, and welcome to Adventure RV Group in Napa, California. We got our load of A-liners in, and I'm really excited to share with you the expedition with the permanent mattress. This unit is 18 feet total length by seven foot wide. It can fit in most garages still, but it depends. If you have a teeny tiny one, you might have to put it on the side yard. <laughs> uh, the coolest part about having a unit that drops down flat like this is that you really save on fuel economy. Uh, this will definitely help you cruise in and go on long and far, cross country and everything. On the front, you have a battery. You have a 12 volt deep cycle in interstate marine battery. You've got dual propane tanks and we do fill those up for you upon purchase. On the front side here, you get the extra baggage door. That'll also go inside and be accessible in the, under the dinette seat right there in the front nose. Back here, the Expedition does come equipped with a cassette toilet. So you do have this wonderful cassette toilet that slides right out and you can drop this off at your nearest dump station. Slips back into position and you're raring to go. We're gonna lock this up so that I don't whack it later. You do have the door latch for when the door is open, your entry door. That'll hold it in position. And the dual step so that you don't have to step up too far when you're getting in and out. The A-liner is built on a torsion axle. That's allowing free range movement of the tires individually. It makes for a really smooth drive when you're going down the road. 14 inch tire is going to give you some extra ground clearance and makes for your tire rotations to be less and you're heating up the rotors less. It's all a good thing. This expedition has been ordered with the outside grill option. This will be suitable for cooking some food for a couple or maybe even a family. You also hiding behind here is a little baggage door, more access to your storage. And just to show you how easy that is to get to, you can get right in there in case you left the tongs inside. <laughs> This model has two dormers, the front and the rear hard dormer, and it is equipped with the high wind lift assist. I'll show you how this thing goes up. We're gonna unlatch your latch right here. And I am gonna use the high wind lift assist to help bring this baby up. Oh, I should have moved the barbecue grill, but we're gonna make do to show you just how easy it is to pop this all the way up. If you don't get that side in, you can walk around to the other side or that's what we're gonna do. The easier you are on your A-liner, the longer it's gonna last for you. You do have a full-size spare tire here on the back side. Glad we walked back there so I could show you about it. And now to go inside, we're going to put a hand on top and a hand on the door. We're gonna pop this right, right up. And I'm gonna latch the door here. And we're gonna reach around and do this wall here. I always put a little bit of pressure as I lean in and put it up. little pressure and put that handle in. A little bit of pressure and put that handle in. There we go. Now, for the dormer, I like to get a little bit of pressure on the roof and then I can transfer it to the back wall. And then I can put the side walls up with just a little bit of pressure and they fit in the slots. This back window opens up, side window, side window, and the front window. Now we're gonna do the front dormer. Again, a little bit of pressure on the roof, then it transfers to the front wall. And I find just getting the right amount of pressure right there on the side. You gotta reach over a little bit farther. There we go. And you are ready to be camping. Lost my microphone. This front table does break down into a bed. 
So you've got a secondary sleeper here. You've got your fire extinguisher. And the other thing that I want to point out down there for you is that there is a night light or something that you can use if you're assembling or breaking down camp, either early in the morning or late at night. That helps you kind of work your way around so you don't get tripped while you're putting these up and down. Right in here again, we've got your 3.0 cubic refrigerator. It is gas, electric, and battery operated. All the controls are easily accessed right there. And you've got a little freezer box down there. Pint of ice cream, beer colder faster. In the kitchen, you do have a two range stove top. Has a glass cover so you can use it for cutting space if you need to or prep space. Very easy to light. And then the Expedition does give you the largest of the sinks. The faucet pulls up here and you can actually wash some dishes in there. Hopefully not too many, we're camping. And down here you have your electric microwave. That's gonna be great if you do have shore power, you can cook anything you like in there. Down below is your propane furnace. It definitely is enough to keep you warm inside the trailer at night in the cold, cold nights. And over here, access to your water pump and your water heater. So you'll have both hot and running, hot and cold running water and your very easy accessible thermostat for that propane heater. Plugs all the way around in the front, back here. Plugs for a cable outlet so that you can watch cable TV. Let me switch you sides. And more plugs with your GFI switch. Down there's your converter, converter box so everything is really accessible. A-liners, engineers work really hard to make it truly functional. The other thing I love about this queen size permanent bed feature is that your access to your storage, your water and your water heater is all really easy to get to. And these struts will even hold it up if you put a pillow top on top and the biggest comforter in the world. They're very strong. And let's not forget the toilet. The toilet is actually a great feature, especially these days where some of the campsites are requiring you to have some sort of form of toilet in your in your trailer. So this is really helpful. The A-Liner does have insulated walls. Probably one of my other favorite features about A-Liner is that they insulate their roof line and that there's no wood made in the roof line themselves. It's all foam block insulation and aluminum and it's built really, really well. That's why we can lift and lower without being a, what's that, Schwarzenegger. <laughs> uh, right above me is the fantastic fan. It pulls air in or out, whatever you need, at three different speeds, and it is appropriately named the fantastic fan.